RPI has had BOSS 100 for a very long time. And BOSS 100 was designed really to address contamination abiotically. At the time that BOSS 100 was first conceived, biodegradation, bioremediation was kind of in its infancy. And the results that were being obtained from biological degradation of, of uh, certainly bercalcinter compounds, chlorinated solvents, had a long way to go. And over the last five to eight years, I think, the biological degradation of chlorinated solvents in particular, the enhanced reductive dechlorination, ERD in the industry, has come a long way. And over the years, it occurred to me that there was very likely a synergy that could take place between the iron in it in BOSS 100, along with the activated carbon, so that we could marry, if you will, ERD, biological degradation, with the BOSS 100 and take advantage of both the abiotic and the biotic pathways. And the idea behind it was really to try to identify a suite of microorganisms and substrates and other additives that would create a technology that actually exceeded the capabilities of either one, the BOSS 100 or the ERD on their own. That concept was really the concept that we pursued in the laboratory as we were doing R&D work related to that. So we explored a lot of different substrates, we explored different bacteria, we explored different sets of conditions, nutrients, etc. And then we just started looking at what kind of effects we, we saw with a variety of contaminants. Uh, and in some instances, we incorporated the groundwater from highly impacted sites in the industry so that we had real samples and it wasn't just laboratory contrived contamination <clears throat> and looked at the kind of results that we had on, and one of the really cool things that happened and came out of all that research was we started realizing that uh, the iron inside BOSS 100 when we married these all these technologies together in just the right way is that we could actually preserve the iron and this was one of the biggest limitations of BOSS 100 in the beginning, was the fact that the iron is consumed. As it degrades the chlorinated solvent, the iron is depleted. So when people would ask me, how long does BOSS 100 last? The answer is, it lasts as long as the iron. Now, we have a technology that preserves the iron. As a consequence of that, the metal is not being consumed, or the consumption is at a much lower rate which means that we've now extended the application of the iron within the BOSS 100. That's the idea behind CAT 100, and so far the results that we've been getting uh, off sites where we've tested the CAT 100, the results have very closely matched the bench data that we've uh, generated. The results are very, very good. They're in some cases astonishing.